What's up, guys? Uh, we're back with another video. We're taking a look at mythical Pokemon. Uh, I'm excited. I, I think this is kind of a fun thing to rank. Uh, I think there's gonna be a lot of hot takes going on throughout here. Um, I know this is kind of you know a very sensitive subject, so I'm excited for the public discourse. Please let me know down in the comments who your favorite mythical and your least favorite mythicals are. I want to see what you think before you watch the video so I can see how we, you know, how we line up. I will let you guys know who my favorite and my least favorite are at the end of the video, but uh, let's just get straight into ranking them. There's going to be obviously some bias uh, because I grew up with my mythicals, so we'll see what you guys think. Uh, but we're going to have Melmetal up here first. Uh, I want to let you know that I took any alternate versions of Pokemon, like Megas, uh, different like stat settings, um, stuff like that and then evolved pokemon stuff like that um if they have more than one evolution i'm only ranking their uh later evolution you know what i mean so just with that out of the way let's get into it okay so we have melmetal um i don't like him i'm just gonna out flat out say it i i kind of lean towards the cuter ends like i really like cute pokemon especially mythicals because i think that that's kind of like i don't know i think that's their you know shebang you know that's what makes him so likable uh melmetal just does not hit any of that for me i don't think that he's bad and i know that a lot of people like him especially people who were very fond of the sun and moon games because he had a big role in that uh, i know he was on ash's team right uh i would i just not there for me so i'm gonna put melmetal at a c i think that's a fair ranking coming from my bias uh, next, we're going to get to Marshadow. Marshadow is like a perfect blend. The only thing, I've never used him, and I've never really had him on my team because I didn't play the Sun and Moon games. But I still really like his design. I love his typing. Everything about him is just very likable for me. He kind of gives me Esper vibes where he's just sitting... You know what I mean? Like blank face, but like there's a lot going on. You know what I mean? So I think I'm going to put Marshadow at an A. He's quite not quite S tier, but... Um, I do like him. Volcanion is just... I don't like him. I'm, I'm going to be honest. D tier. I don't like the onion ring on his back. I don't like he's built like a, a fridge. And I think he's a complete waste of the fire water typing. I, I just... I really don't like that they gave it to him. There's so many cooler things I think they could have done. Uh, besides the mess of shapes that is going on right there. Um, I don't like the little fire hoses. Um, so hose dragger is a D tier. Okay, we got onion fairy. I like Cliff. I almost said I almost said Cliff fairy. Oh my goodness. I like Celebi a lot. I know there's a lot of diehard Celebi fans out there. To me, I'm not really there. It's it's really kind of weird because I love Johto as a whole, but Celebi is just not really there for it. I, I don't know. It's it's even weirder because I said I really liked Pokemon, but I've just never had a strong fondness for Celebi. I, I don't know. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to put Celebi at B tier. Don't come for me uh, or my children. I promise you it's it's not that deep. Next, we have Deancey. I really like Deancey. I really like the whole design there. I love the, you know, the kind of lore. If you don't know the lore in Deancey, maybe I'll make a video about it, but I really like it. Um, it's not, I wouldn't even call it lore, but just like fan theories and stuff like that. It's just, it's really insinuated by Pokemon lore that is confirmed. Uh, but Deancey's origins are really, really uh, interesting, I believe. So I'm going to put Deancey at an A. Uh, these aren't how I rank them. Like these are just kind of like, like it's not front to back, best, front's best, back is worst. I'm not going to get that deep, uh, but that's where I put them. Hoopa Unbound. Ho Hoopa Unbound is a, an A as well. I really like Hoopa Unbound. I don't think, I think this is a mythical that doesn't get enough attention. I, he's really cool design, really cool concept. Pokemon has really like, just milked all of the lore behind Hoopa Unbound into all of their products and things going on nowadays. Uh, so I, I don't think that that's ruined him for me, but I, I just really like him. I don't know. He gives me Sonic vibes of those rings too. So maybe that's why I'm so fond of him. So Mew, and I feel weird right now because I know I'm putting a lot into A tier. Maybe that'll move for me later. Um, but Mew is also going to be A tier for me. I just really like Mew because it gives off original mythical vibes. It's kind of started the whole trend of mythicals being like cute but powerful or cute but unique. You know what I mean? Uh, so I really like Mew. I like all the lore behind Mew. I just, you know, it, there's what's not like, what's not like, you know what I mean? So Mew's going to be there. Meloetta. Meloetta has actually uh, 
grown on me over the last couple of months. I really didn't like Meloetta at first, uh, but especially in her pirouette form, I think that I do kind of like Meloetta. I don't know. I haven't used her, like I said, um, or I haven't used her, so maybe if I played the games, I would like them a little bit more, but I have not used Meloetta yet, so... Uh, Magirna is going to be C tier for me. I like Magirna's lore. I don't like her design. Her typing's phenomenal. That's such a good typing, but she's really just not for me. All right, next we got Manaphy, which is, I feel like this is kind of surprising to myself because the little water fairy, I like, I played the Sinnoh games a lot, so I think that I should like her more than I do, but they've always just seemed so mundane and like unnecessary. I really just kind of avoided Manaphy the entire time that I've known her. Uh, so I'm gonna put her in C tier. I just, nothing I would go out of the way for. Zeraora, surprising to me. I love Zeraora and I'm not a furry, I promise, but Zeraora is just cool, man. I really just think he's very cool. I like his design. Uh, it's more Sonic vibes, I kind of feel like. I don't know what it is, I just really, really like him. And it's weird because I make fun of people who are all about humanoid designs, but I really like Zeraora, I really like Lucario, so maybe I am what I feared most. Next we have the Victory Pokemon. I I love Victini, man. Victini's so dope. It's just, <laughs> he's just a little munchkin, dude. He's just so cool. I, I really, really love Victini, and I'm gonna put Victini as our first S tier. I really don't know who wouldn't love Victini. Uh, just the enthusiasm, the power, the, you know, just everything about him. He's just so dope. So I really love Victini, and I'm gonna put him as our first S tier. Immediately following our second S tier, Jirachi. Jirachi is, <laughs> Jirachi's everything, bro. I love Jirachi. I love the Hoenn game, so obviously it's going to be very close to home to me. Uh, I love his lore about he comes every century, or maybe it's every thousand years. I can't remember, but, um, and then you get three wishes, and it, his little eye on his belly opens up. It's just, I just love everything about Jirachi. I love, like, the vibes he gives off in, in game, and, like, I, it's just so cool, man. <laughs> I, t I don't know what happened why all of these are at the uh, at the end here Deoxys obvious S tier I really don't know anybody who wouldn't put Deoxys as an S tier especially if you were there uh, when the home games you know had come out and you had that timed event where you can go and move you know his little uh, triangle and it goes all over in the pattern and then you have to fight him so just amazing it's just such a fond memory I really love Deoxys uh, and then uh, when Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire came out and they had the animation of Mega Rayquaza fighting Deoxys, that was so sick. I just, I fucking loved everything about that. So Deoxys is a clear S tier. I hope that we can all agree on that at the very least. Uh, Fionn, er, uh, I said I wasn't going to do like evolutionary ones, so I think I'm going to put Fioni out of there. Uh, Keldeo, to me, C tier. Keldeo's a snitch, bro. I don't know. Keldeo gives us snitch vibes, dude. I know his old Sword of Justice routine. Um, so I, I don't know, bro. He just seems like the dude who like brings up homework in the middle of class, even though the teacher hadn't mentioned anything, you know, oh, uh, what about the homework? You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I'm going to put Keldeo C tier. I could see myself liking him more. Maybe if I used him, I knew more about his lore, but, uh, I'm about to play the gen five games the first time. So hopefully maybe I'll, he'll grow on me. I don't know. Uh, we have Shaman. For some reason, I have both forms of Shaman up here. I don't know why I'll move. Uh, I think Sky Shaman is definitely the better form. So I'm going to put Sky Shaman up here. A tier. I like mm, maybe B tier. Uh, let me think. Hold on. Yeah, probably B tier. I really do like Sky Shaman. Uh, it's just not, you know, up there, up there for me. So I think B tier is definitely uh, where it belongs. It's just one of the more forgettable uh, mythicals. I really feel like, like, even I feel like the ones that I don't like, like Melmetal, definitely is more memorable than Shaman, who I'm putting above it only because I like its design better and it means more to me. Uh, so that's why I'm gonna put Shaman right there. Arceus, this is gonna be a huge. Oh, I can already hear the people throwing fits in the in the comments. Arceus, I I don't like Arceus. I think his whole concept, his whole being, is unnecessary. I don't know why we have a god of the Pokemon universe. It was super unnecessary. Uh, I kind of. It kind of felt like a forced Rayquaza for Dialga and Palkia that wasn't needed at all. Um, he's just, you know what I mean? Like, if you have all the power in the world, like, it just becomes boring to me. So, I, I put 
Arceus, just to put some respect on him. I'll keep him out of D tier. But to me, I like his design enough to be B tier. So I'll put Arceus B tier. Sorry, there was, a, there was a plane flying by. I live on an Air Force base, so it's something I have to constantly deal with. Anyways, so I'll put God Deer uh, B tier. I don't, like I said, more onion rings. I don't really like the onion rings on it. I kind of like its design other than that. I don't know. I just, it just seems so unnecessary to me. And I, I don't really know what to even say about it. I really did like uh, Arceus, uh, the game though. That was really, really fun. I liked to enjoy playing that a lot. Uh, anyways, dude, another hot take. Genesect S tier, baby. I love Genesect. Genesect is so dope. Um, I just, <laughs> I don't know what it is because I don't really know a lot of people who really do love Genesect, but I fucking love Genesect. I think Genesect is so cool. I love his lore. I love his design. I like the whole uh, plasma um, cannon thing on its back. It kind of looks like the predator. It's, it's giving me predator vibes. I don't know. I just really love Genesect. I think he's really cool. I like the whole lore about him, like being a Kabutops or whatever, and then Team Plasma getting him and you know, reviving him and making him like the cyborg. It's just so cool. I like what's not to love to me, honestly. Darkrai, I don't even like, come on, obviously S tier. Darkrai is fucking dope. I don't know anybody who doesn't like Darkrai. If you don't like Darkrai, you need to get a cat scan because there's obviously something wrong there. Um, that's going to be my list. I think it's pretty clear who my least favorite is. I fucking hate Volcanion. Not, I just, I just don't like him at all. There's nothing really to like about him for me. Uh, uh, yeah, that's how I feel about it. Uh, and then my favorite is probably Jirachi. I'm just a huge Jirachi fan. That's totally biased. I could see people putting Deoxys or Darkrai on top, which I would totally understand. Uh, anything below these dudes, any of these dudes on top, I think is maybe Celebi. I can see a lot of people loving, loving Celebi. Uh, but that's how I'm gonna be. Uh, that's that's probably my official list. Let me know what you guys like. Let me know what you guys thought. Who did you have on as your favorite? Who do you have your least favorite? Uh, I'll look at the comments. Excited to see. I hope everybody is having a great week. We're almost there. We're inching our way towards the weekend. Uh, hopefully this video made your day a little bit better. So uh, yeah, I love you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next vid.